Yeah. How everybody doing? So we are here in Browns land. The real estate of Browns fan. Tuning in. We just made a big signing. Signed Jadavion Clowney. I've been kind of quiet on the signing. Didn't really know if it was going to happen. If it was, you know, if it was just talk. Obviously, we know what happened last year. Um, I didn't really say too much because what I said back then was what I said now. You know, anybody that can hit a Michigan player the way he popped the Michigan player, I want him on my team. Straight up. I'm excited about the signing, but what kind of took it away from me is what happened last year. I feel like... If he would have just came here in the first place, it would have been better. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He here now, so, you know, and then he ended up getting hurt. So, at the same time, it's like, you know, if that would have happened. And it just wasn't his timing. I'm glad that we had OV. And I heard it was a rumor that we might get OV back. It would be crazy great. You know what I'm saying? That would be so awesome to have OV back, especially with Jadavion too. So that would be, that'd be crazy. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so like I see why AB was so persistent with him. You know, like Jadavion Clowney, like dude is really charming. Like he's just really, like I just like how he, we had the little interview with him, just how calm he was. Like, he was just, like, centered, like, in his, you know, just in his bag. Just, like, you know what I mean? He was just real charming dude, I could say. I could just say, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just, like, he feel, like, you feel comfortable around him. Like, he very confident. I don't know. It's just something about him. It's just, like, I see why A.B. was so persistent. You know what I mean? And I see, and I also see why everybody loves him so much in the league. You know what I mean? Because... I can't even cap, like, a, a part of me was kind of like, you know, if we don't get Jadavion, I didn't really think it was a big issue. I didn't think, even if we did get him, that it'd be a big issue, you know what I'm saying, or a big, big thing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think he would, you know, I just, I worry about the, the health thing more so than anything. The health thing is, is like, he can't stay healthy, so it's like, you know, what we was getting with him, I just felt like it was just a lot of, you know, wolf. You know what I'm saying, if you will. I mean, I don't know what type of word that I'm looking for, but it's just a lot of wolf. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but after hearing, like I said, listening to him in the interview and everything like that, how he conducted himself and just, like I said, just what he had to say and the questions, how he answered the questions. And it was just like, he like, let, like the part of he let out of himself. It was just like, you know, that he was able to give us. On camera, like you know what I'm saying, like that's a professional. That's that's what that's what we about now. I mean, we a professional team, and we we leveling up. So it's like, you know, we need these type of guys, and we need. I mean, he a first round pick, a former first round pick. That's a former first round pick talent on our team right now. So like, I can't sit up here and say like, oh, that's just something to overlook. That's definitely a big thing to have. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I'm excited. I ain't even gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it looked like I'm kind of contained. I ain't really like super smiling. I ain't really geeked up. It's just like, you know, this is just what's on roster. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? We get, you know, some of the draft picks that I mentioned, you know what I mean? I'll be a little more geeked up, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see on that. And, um, but for the most part, I definitely just have to welcome Jadavion. I'm excited to see him in a Browns uniform, like I said, especially after this interview. And just, like I said, he just seemed like he's ready, he ready to get to work. He's going to be that talent. He's going to be that, like, that 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 dog that's going to eat out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, welcome to the dog pound, bro. Like, this is Browns defense, yo. Like, everybody's starting to see it, man. Like, it's legit. And, you know, I hope, like, all our dudes come back healthy. Greedy, Grant, you know, in particular. The warden, the warden, man, that's my guy, man. The, the warden, he, little dude, play hard. Um, 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, man, this is cool. I'm definitely excited for for this season. I just gotta wait. It's, it's I mean, it's a long time from now. You're talking about August. I mean, we in April, another four months. I mean, long time, but not long time. At least another quarter until the night like the OTAs. That's another thing too. Is like this. I mean, but hopefully he just fits in. You know what I mean? He said he already done seen what the scheme is gonna be like and everything like that. So. You know, when you got that information and you just be like, oh, that's all I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I can definitely, oh, that's bet. You know what I'm saying? That's I think that's how I, he looked at it. He was just like, for real? Like, sh like that actually looked fun. You know what I'm saying? Bet. Like, and him and Miles, and like he said, he don't even got to be the number one guy. That's another thing. That was another thing that really impressed me was that, you know, a lot of people, I don't know. I mean, I don't think they do it more so. I think it's more so, like, the leaders and, like, I don't not the leaders, but, like, the media, like, just whoever, like, asking the questions right now. You know what I'm saying? Whoever asking us these questions and telling us, you know, trying to manipulate the way that we think, if you will. So it's like... Everybody focused on, oh, being a leader, and everybody got to come to a team and be a leader, and it's like, we got all these leaders on our team, because this person's a leader, and then this person's a leader, and this other person's a leader. It's like, why, why is everybody so focused on being a leader? It's like, why why even make it a thing? Like, you know, it, I think it's, it's it's almost like a like a participation trophy nowadays, how people do it. It's like, you know, that, you know, I'm coming in here to be a leader. Everybody wants to be a leader. You know, it's like, like when is anybody just going to let it be what it is? You know, let it be a leader at organically. It's like, you just know who the leader is. You don't got to say it. It's like, when they say real G's move in silence, or <laughs> BK said real G's move in so G's move like in silence like sourdough. You know what I'm saying? And all that other stuff. Like, that stuff. You know what I mean? That... That's real though. Like, it ain't what's understood ain't got to be said. It's like the one that's leader, the one that you can turn to, is whatever for whatever reason, for whatever purpose it is. It's like, and it could be a bunch of guys. I'm not saying it's just got to be one guy. I'm just saying that, you know how they, everybody does in the media, and they try to ask like, are are you gonna be a leader, or because because you're just really great talent and everything like that. Even if that some people was a great talent. Maybe they didn't want to have to, like, quote, unquote, have to be the leader. And then, like, even after the leader, it's like, what does that look like? You know what I'm saying? Then people want to be like, oh, because, of, oh, this person talks the most, they're the leader. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or also be like, oh, this person's the best, this person's the leader. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, everybody a leader in their own right. You know what I'm saying? We all supposed to inspire each other. But as far as, like, oh, well, I'm leader so-and-so, and I'm leader this and this, and I got captain that, that. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's just too much right now, you know, and I just, I really appreciate how you answered that question because it was like, like, he know what it is and it's like, I don't need to come in here and leave. I just need to come in here and be Jadavion, you know what I'm saying? The only C that you only see on my fucking jersey is from my name, is Clowny, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? And I ain't, that don't mean anything to anybody. It shouldn't really mean anything to anybody. Everybody just need to come in and do their job. Now, it's like I said, somebody got better talents than most. Like how Anthony Walker, he's great at breaking down film and getting people prepared. You know what I'm saying? Everybody contribute. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I mean, I, I know that's probably not how they think. You know what I'm saying? They just get asked the questions and they fucking answer it. So it's like, you know, but I feel bad for him a little bit. But at the same time, it's like, because at the same time, you don't want to say, oh, I don't want to be a leader. Because it's like, you do want to promote people striving to be just more than average. And that's that's real. You you definitely want to be more than average, but it's like there's nothing wrong with just being a worker neither. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're not the leader, don't mean that you, that you're not great. You know what I'm saying? Like it just mean that you part you rather focus more so on yourself. You know because when you're the leader, it's like you also gotta worry about yourself to the point where. You got to look at how what you doing is affecting everybody else. You know what I'm saying? If you a leader and you slacking off, you best believe that the people that you lead going to be slacking off. So it's like, ain't no slack. You know, if you a leader, 
And some people don't prefer that pressure. They just rather worry about themselves so that, and then if that turns into some form of leadership, so be it. That's organic leadership. You know what I mean? It's not about the raw, raw and all that stuff. Some people, yeah, they like to, you know, get people hype off of talking, you know what I'm saying? But that's just somebody that can galvanize as far as like a voice. You know what I mean? But that don't necessarily mean a leader. That just mean like, shoot, I put on some DMX and I want to get hype. You know what I'm saying? That. You know what I mean? So it's, it is what it is. But welcome to Davion to the Dog Pound. You know what I mean? Where my dog's at. You know, get a dog bark, all of that. So another, you know, that's a big dog. He big dog. What kind of dog is that? That's like. That's like one of them Bill Great Danes or something like that. One of them, one of the ones that's like a, where they look like a pit bull or like a Rottweiler, but they like taller and big. I don't know. I don't know. We got a bunch of dogs on the team though, for real, for real. So, real sense of brown fan. Peace.